y'all have any not yet Christians in the house? Watch this. She ain't got no money. She's broke and she's bleeding. And bleeding and broke equals broken. But, here it is. She musters up enough strength to go off of hearsay. Now watch this, no, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Can I put, can I, can I put, pin my right here, park it parenthetically? Listen, y'all. There's nothing wrong with hearsay as long as it's positive. So I don't need you bringing all this hearsay to me. Take your hearsay to Jesus. Come on, talk back to me if you can. Huh? I'm nobody's trash can. So you can't just expect me to just take in your trash because your trash got your name on it. And I have, I'm, I'm having enough time beating it with my own self. Come on, help me in here. Shows up, broke, bleed, broken. Mm -hmm. Musters up enough energy to go off of hearsay. Perhaps, but what did she hear? Well, that was a brother. That was a man named Jesus. Uh, showed up one day, took a little boy's lunch. Boy never said nothing. Took a boy's lunch, fed a multitude. Five thousand folk. Huh? With two little fish. Five loaves of bread. Huh? Come on, help me here. In, 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 uh, in other words, God can take the scenery from a one plate meal to the golden corral. Yeah. Anybody can testify that God can make something out of nothing? Yeah. As a matter of fact, that's why you're here right now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Who is this man? What did she hear? <laughs> Ooh, that, was a, that was a brother by the name of Blind Bartimaeus. Folks said he was on the wrong side. Huh? He was a he was a, he was broke too. Huh? He was blind. He was broke. He was begging. Bad bees. Y'all catch that later on. Blind, broke, and begging. And this lady, she's not blind, but she's bleeding. She's broke, and she's broken. Come on, help me in here. And the reality of it is, is that you might not be bleeding today, but you could be bleeding tomorrow. You got a good bank account today, but all it takes is one good sickness to wipe your bank account out. That's why you praise God in season and out of season. I'm out of here, I'm out of here, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Uh, I think I'm going to call the cab out here and come around. Have to encourage yourself because folk around you are not necessarily encouraging. Huh? You really want to love on folk, but they're not always lovable. You really want to hug on folk, huh? And when you go to extend your arms, they act like they don't have any arms at all. But if the shoe fit way, it's too tight taking up. I ain't talking about nobody. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. So that's what she heard. Huh? She stripped them based off of what she's. Her, huh? But number two, I'm out of here. You know, we ain't got time to get number three. Two, she shows up, she cuts them off, huh? She has a problem. Now in her mind, her problem supersedes J. Iris's problem. J. Iris's problem is still there, but when she shows up, her problem trumps his problem. Right? His problem is with his daughter. Lord have mercy. Huh? He shows up to Jesus. On behalf of his, listen, if you ever want a parent to get upset, don't mess with my baby. Huh? That's a good way to get put on short grass. Come on, help me in here. Huh? You can mess with me, say whatever you want to with me, to me, but don't you mess with my baby. Mm -hmm. Gonna be some furniture moving. Gonna help me here. Huh? Gonna see something you don't want to see. Gonna give you something to make you feel good. Mm -hmm. I got a way of being a blessing. 
Yeah. See that one right there? Raise your hand, Destiny. That's my oldest daughter. Y'all give her a great big hand. I'm so great to see her. Baby. Don't mess with her. Come on, help me here. Huh? And any parent that loves their child will go to the ends of the earth for their children. Cats, bless. Better catch ghosts. You better hit the street before you are feet. Huh? So, so, but Jairus says nothing. Huh? And I wondered, I wondered, I wondered. Y'all come with me real quick. I wonder why Jairus didn't say nothing. Perhaps Jairus didn't say nothing. The only thing that could come to mind, to, to my mind, brother, that perhaps Jairus didn't say nothing because the Prince of Peace was on the scene. Well, y'all don't know about it. <laughs> when Jesus shows up, Jesus has a way of bringing peace with him. Because peace is not a derivative of who he is. Peace is who he is innately. Come on, help me now. In other words, you can never talk to God and not feel the peace of God. And when you have his peace, you have his promise. When you have his peace and his promise, you have his power. So yeah. Jairus just chilled. Yes, sir. 12, huh? 12 years, struggling, bleeding, broke, busted, disgusted, and broken. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But... Here's the key. Quit being a victim <laughs> and adopt a victorious attitude. Y'all hear what I just said? Quit blaming your problems on other folk. Quit throwing rocks and when it get messy, you hide. I'll wait. She was sick, yeah. and nobody wanted to have anything to do with her. And when she showed up on the scene, she wasn't concerned about Jairus. She wasn't concerned about nobody. She needed Jesus. And Jesus done something for her that made her forget about the 12 years of bleeding. Oh, man. Y'all don't know when to shout. When the Lord shows up and starts blessing you, you forget about the stresses, the struggles, and the strains of what it took for you to get here. You're just glad you're here. Look at your neighbor and say, baby, if you stay in line long enough, you'll make it to the front. And so... She understands, listen, that being a victim won't get her to victory. So she has this resilient attitude, paints the picture of a rubber band. It's stretched, it's pulled. Huh? But a rubber band always comes back to its original state. And I'm looking at some folk, well, you've been stretched, You've been pulled. Yeah. Huh? 